Hey guys, I hope you guys um, are having a good day. Um, today what I decided to film is a tutorial on how I film my nail art videos. Now, I get asked that question a lot. Um, so I'm going to show you my setup, um, what camera, webcam I use, um, how I have my computer laid out, and um, what positions um, I use to get the great angles. Please stay tuned for this um tutorial on my tips and tricks and I just kind of felt like there was nothing out there um, and so when I got started I just kind of did it myself and there wasn't really anything for me to research on. In the information box below I also um, posted my blog post link and just check me out uh, there and I link all the products that I use and you can read about them and all that good stuff. These are supplies that are not super expensive so it's reasonable to do um, and so hopefully this helps you guys get inspired in creating your nail art video to improve and please leave any suggestions in the comments below if there are any tips and tricks that you guys know um, that you can share with me or maybe suggestions because I'm still learning. I'm not a pro at it yet but I feel like um, I really want to learn. I want to share what I do. So please stay tuned for what I do when I film my nail art videos. Bye! Hey guys, welcome to the Crafty Ninja production. Um, right now I'm going to show you just some things I use when I do film because I get a lot of questions on what program I use and I'm going to show you what camera I use. Um, so first let's get started. This is the camera I use. It is the Logitech HD Webcam C615 and uh, it is connected to my MacBook Pro and my webcam is on a mini tripod. I have a cover from KB Covers and it really keeps all the dirt and the dog hairs from getting in between the keys so it's nice. Now my laptop I put it on a stand and the reason why it's on a stand is so when I film myself that I get a good angle because normally if it's just on the desk, the glass desk, um, the angle isn't high enough so it films like at a weird um, angle and this way it gets my full face so I really love the stand. I have my external hard drive and it's important to have an external hard drive to back up all what you film because um, just recently I had a scare where everything was deleted and then luckily it was all found. Now I film on top of a light table and the light table just gives me height. So here's my chair. I'll pull it out. And sorry if I'm moving around. I'm filming with my um, iPhone. So this is where my um, glass table is. And then again this gives me the height so that when I do film I'm able to angle and film this way. So I'm wearing a little brace because my wrist is hurting. I also use this is kind of like you could purchase at the dollar store, like a storage. I turn it upside down. And then I use this pillow cushion. And I put that on top. And I like having a glass desk because if I get any nail polish, it'll come right off with my acetone. So it's super easy and super uh, simple. Now with this is the perfect rest for my hand so it's not just floating and it won't hurt. Okay, that's how I film. And then I usually turn on my lamp so that it's nice and bright. I'm going to turn the lamp off because. And then if I, and this is from a bird's eye view of how I would be filming. Now, if I want a really close up, what I will do is I'll move my webcam. Put it down on the tabletop, and that way it'll be a very close-up view. Now I'm going to show you what it would look like on my webcam. So I'm going to pull up my webcam, so you guys can see the different um, angles I get when I'm talking about. So I pull up my webcam, and you have to install the software. Software and a getting started manual. 
And this webcam is Mac compatible. That's why I love it. So again, you can see what I'm doing. So again, this is from a higher. You can see what it looks like. And I have my laptop open so I can see what I'm doing from here. And that's why it's nice that it's connected. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I do it close up. And adjusting it and putting it down. I like this because it has an adjustable head. Sorry, this is so hard to do with just one hand. Okay. And so if you see from where you would be sitting, this is how I set it up. And then this is what it would look like. So that's how I do my close-up film. I go to iMovie. That's my software I use. I'm not going into complete details on how I edit. Um, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube that you can check out, and that's how I learned myself. Um, I just wanted to show you what programs I used, um, what camera I used, and my setup and how I film. Alright guys, thank you so much for checking out my tips and tricks. I hope you guys learned something and got inspired. Maybe you'll start creating your own. I also posted on my blog all the links to where you can get the products that I use. And have a good day. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And check me out at thecraftyninja.com.